What's going on everybody, it's Jeff. We're about to hit a market close at 3 p.m. on Eastern Time and I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about the penny stock that I bought last week that I see a huge upside potential happening uh, over the very short term, okay? Um, this right here is ticker symbol SB, it's Safe Balkers. What they do is they are a sea freight shipping company, okay? Um, if you look at the chart right here, this is a little just under three months from November to December. It's continually starting to uptrend. I've heard about this stock off of actually somebody uh, in a stock forum uh, that sent it over to, to me at about $1.40 I picked it up at. Um, and it's got some great opportunity. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit why, okay? Uh, first off, freight shipping, especially these companies, have maintained and have the, the reputation of maintaining very, very low margins. They're not able to get profitable. They're not able to really grow over time. There's been many of these uh, shipping companies, especially dry ship that just like totally exhausted themselves. Um, but this is something that came out from Yahoo Finance that I found to be really interesting uh, in regards to the capital employed. Safe Bolters appears to be achieving more with less since the business is using 21% less capital to run its oper uh, operation. Um, currently, you know, uh, th this reporter has, has seen sees the upsides uh, of of safe bulkers um, and being able to actually maintain profit as it goes forward. Okay, now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Jeff, but you know, sea, sea freight shipping, how big is that going to be? Well, let's kind of get into that a little bit more. Okay, there's an insane thermal cold demand to rise in 2021. That's for a couple different reasons. One, factories over in uh, countries like you know India and China that have been shut down in all parts of Asia that have been shut down because of the coronavirus are going to start you know firing up again and start really moving and they, there's there's a low okay that once this production starts to happen again it's got to maintain it so they predict this thermal coal to rise that is one of the number one exports of safe bulkers okay um, yes all your products that you order from China on Amazon definitely do come over by sea but this one happens to be um, you know, huge coal is is transferred in in tons and massive a massive amount of weight, uh, and they expect it to see it to grow the need of it globally all over. Okay, it's not just in in China, Asia, India. So that's a huge uh, opportunity for Safe Balkers to continue to grow. Um, you know, as well. Also, here's another statistics that I pull about right now the shipping the just the u.s shipping industry is a 700 billion dollar industry it's projected to grow by 1.3 trillion we know like i said that all of amazon you know uh you know amazon uh, e-commerce i should say not just amazon e-commerce as a whole is growing a lot of these products do come over from china um trump is getting out of office and we know that the biden administration has always had and the democrats have had a little bit easier uh you know relationship with china uh and we see some of the you know the restrictions and uh, the, the barriers of entry that were, were placed over the trump administration to kind of drop a little bit and the trade to continue um here's another chart also showing you know the amount of trade as it as the imports and exports not only to the us out of the us continue to grow and grow and grow we we expect this to uh, continue to happen especially over the short term i've done a little bit of research on this company i'm going to continue to hold it for a little while like i said the only thing that i find to make me a little bit nervous is the fact that inevitably it is a sea freight company and many other ones have just been able so hard to maintain profitable margins that eventually they end up uh, doing, you know, reverse stock splits and uh, kind of end up collapsing on themselves. But this one's definitely got some more run to run. I mean, it's up 6% just today. If you look back at just, this is just the start of the year. Let's see where, we, where are we at. Just the start of the year. I got in like a few days ago, $1.40. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's produced a, a good return already. I continue, like I said, to continue to see it up at least for the short term. So um, guys, leave a comment down below. This is a stock that I haven't heard anybody talk about. Leave a comment down below your thoughts uh, and anything else that you see kind of trending and where to go from here. And uh, consider subscribing guys. I'm new to YouTube. I'm trying to just help everybody out. And you know, anything that I, it comes across my way, just kind of, you know, pass the knowledge so we can all grow and profit together. So that's it for this one. I will see you in the next one.